Hey guys, Dr. Brad Bodel here with 10 tips to better understand your thyroid. And this is tip number 10. You know, we made it. Um, our tip today is one that I think is really, really important for us to all kind of marinate on and, and grasp and understand. And the tip is that our thyroid does not work in isolation. So I get asked all the time, you know, oh, I was taking this medication. What's the difference between that and this? Should I go back to my primary and ask them about taking a natural type of medication? People are always looking for you know, what is the right type of thyroid hormone to be taking. And yes, that can be very, very important. However, there's huge amounts of connections between your thyroid and your brain, your thyroid and your adrenal stress system, your thyroid and your hormones, your thyroid and your gut, your thyroid and your liver and detox pathways. I, I could go on and on. The point being is a lot of times when our thyroid isn't working, it's being bullied by some other part of our system. Some part of our system isn't working the way it should be and that is leading to consequences downstream that is affecting our thyroid. So yes, having the right type of thyroid hormone can be super important with for you and it's important that you have that conversation uh, with your primary doctor or your endocrinologist. However, there's all these other things in our body that can contribute to the way our thyroid works. I always joke that the only difference or the only differentiation between our thyroid and those other systems is when you put a specific chapter for it in a physiology textbook. But in real life, we don't have different chapters. Everything works together and that is no different for the way our thyroid works. So tip number 10 guys is that our thyroid does not work in isolation it works with every other system in the body. And when our thyroid goes down, that leads to complications with good cellular activity and good metabolism, and then we start to develop symptoms. So it's super critical that you look at the whole picture and start to identify where your areas of inefficiency or decreased function is. If you have any questions about that, please contact us, email, comments, you know, we'll make sure to get back to you and, and help you out the best we can. Otherwise, that's it for 10 tips to better understand your thyroid. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions or are looking forward to see something answered in the future or want a particular series, just let us know. Uh, we always love to hear from you guys and we love the feedback. So everyone have a wonderful day. Thank you for following us with this series and we look forward to hearing from you soon.